all the lost episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, including lost internship recreation of SpongeBob Your Fired, was made by Kalani Brown, our former Nickelodeon animator and employee. So here's just a story of the alternate ending of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. It all started when I was watching Paramount Plus. The movie I'm watching is Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius from 2001. Just then, when my phone got buzzed, I got a Google email notification. So I opened up a notification and I got a letter from Nickelodeon. I was surprised and shocked to know that Nickelodeon emailed me for the first time. The email said this. Dear biggest Nickelodeon fan from America. We heard those fans watched every lost episode of Spongebob made by our former employee, Clanny Brown. We first hired Clanny Brown in 1997 as we're looking for more people for us to work with. He explained why he wanted to work with us. He had been afraid of sea creatures since when he was a child during his field trip at the aquarium as childhood days. He also applied for a job at DNA Productions and O Entertainment in 2002, working on the animation episode of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius and the SpongeBob SquarePants. However, due to unpleasant nature of those graphic violence scene, we had to change it to make the less disturbing and more kid-friendly, so he won't do it again. Clenny Brown will later steal ours. DNA Productions, and O Entertainment's animated computers, softwares and drawings to make his own alternate Nickelodeon shows episode scenes. Whatever nobody's around at night time, he snuck into our studio and made a horrible episode of Spongebob called, Spongebob Can't Take It. The next morning we got a call from angry parents saying their children were mean tyrannized by the Spongebob episode and we know it was him all along. By the time in 2003 during development of the Spongebob Squarepants movie, we had to fire him for good, so he won't be able to work with us anymore because of the graphic image and foul language. So anyways, after you watch this, I will tell you why he's afraid of sea creatures, sincerely, the Nickelodeon team. Wow, I was kinda interested. Anyways, after a few hours, I checked the video again and this must be the, the file. The file is called, The Spongebob Squarepants Movie Alternate Ending. Ooh, this is gonna be so cool. I wonder the alternate ending is gonna be look like. So, I downloaded the file and began to watch the movie. So I had to pause the movie on Paramount Plus, so I can enjoy watching this. Before the video start, there were some messages on the white screen saying, Warning! The following the alternate ending of the Spongebob Squarepants movie you are about to see are not made suitable for children. It will have graphic violence, blood image, and terrify scene. Please watch this if you have courage to. Wow, that would be so weird. Anyways, the first scene started with Mr. Krause as he got frozen, opening his eyes wide open knowing that he doesn't want to burn. And he's surprised that the King Neptune's crown have finally returned from Shell City. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Princess Mindy are cheering a celebration along with Mr. Krabs are cheering. King Neptune bowed down and looked at the crown, and he noticed that his crown have finally returned. Princess Mindy, SpongeBob, and Patrick are begin to hug each other at the final film. Until Plankton was clapping interrupting them celebration. He said to them, as in the final film, Oh yes, well done, Spongeboob. Sorry to rain on your parade, Plankton. Oh, don't worry about me. My parade shall be quite dry under my umbrella. After he said that, he pressed the button out of nowhere and says umbrella knowing that King Neptune has been covered the head by a giant chum bucket bucket helmet. Princess Mindy, Spongebob, and Patrick are surprised and shocked that King Neptune has been controlled by the helmet. Plankton press button again, and the King Neptune said with a distorted grin demonic voice. Oh hell, Plankton! Patrick, Spongebob, and Mindy begin screaming in fear as their voice actors are screaming in pain, knowing that something is going to happen. After a few seconds of screaming, they turn around and notice that the citizens of the Bikini Bottom push those windows down and begin torched by Spongebob, Patrick, and Princess Mindy, along with Mr. Krabs. Oh, King Neptune 
to grab his weapon and begin to shoot them as an execution. Patrick said to Spongebob, instead of saying Spongebob what happened, as in the final film, he said something very depressing. Well, Spongebob, this is it. I guess this is the end of Bikini Bottom. It seems like we are done for. We have been surrounded by the citizens of Bikini Bottom, including your friends and my father. Spongebob, what are we going to do? We have to get to the King Neptune's castle, warn his assistant and his guards before it's too late. Good idea, Spongebob, but how do we get out of here? There are too many of them. Follow me, guys! The scene goes on to the different looks. Patrick and Spongebob and Princess Mindy decide to know where they're going to escape. So Patrick grabs Spongebob and Princess Mindy begin walking towards to the glass of window and begin running away. They're getting away! Why are you all standing around for? Help! They're running away around to see the whole Bikini Bottom has been controlled by the Chum Bucket Bucket Helmet with a bunch of the statues of planktons. Everything looks very crazy and horrifying knowing that the whole ocean is still blood red, including the Bikini Bottom has been destroyed with fires everywhere. I can't believe the Bikini Bottom has been destroyed, and now we are the only survivors left, but the rest of them are being controlled by Chum Bucket Bucket Helmet! Spongebob, I'm scared! I don't want to be a part with them! Guys, get in. Princess Mindy's eyes pupil shrunk like in cartoons and animes where the characters iris or pupil shrink when they shock, scared, surprised, or angry. Spongebob looked very angry and Patrick scared, knowing that the whole bikini bottom has completely destroyed. So Princess Mindy used the carriage and get on with it along with Spongebob and Patrick. And then Mr. Krabs came out of nowhere and jumped onto the carriage and began to escape. You guys can run! A can head for us! Plankton got very angry, and the King Neptune and the rest of the citizens of Bikini Bottom began chasing SpongeBob, Patrick, and Princess Mindy, along with Mr. Krabs, everywhere in the entire Bikini Bottom. The scene chase goes on for 30 seconds until there was a bomb out of nowhere, until the carriage got bombed and Mr. Krabs fell down to the ground. Right before Mr. Krabs' glass was about to make a contact to the ground, he accidentally got smashed into the ground, into the pieces of ice. Spongebob was surprised and shocked that his boss is completely dead. Mr. Krabs, no! Spongebob, we had to get out of here. There's no going back now. I never seen Patrick was acting very seriously instead of being stupid words. Anyways, the scene chase goes on around for about 40 seconds until he made it to the sea castle of King Neptune's kingdom. Princess Mindy, Spongebob, and Patrick trying to warn Squire, the King Neptune's assistant, along with the guards. Princess Mindy opened the door and knowing that Squire and the rest of the guards has been controlled by Chum Bucky Bucky Helmet. They were screaming for three seconds and went back to the carriage. Spongebob, Patrick, let's go. The scene goes chasing around the entire places of Bikini Bottom for about 40 seconds until it was dead end. They stopped until Spongebob and Patrick fell down to the ground along with Princess Mindy. The seahorses has been controlled by Chum Bucket Bucket Helmet and begin chasing Spongebob, Patrick, and Princess Mindy. I can't believe my carriage is broken and now the seahorses has been controlled by Chum Bucket Bucket Helmet. Let's get the heck out of here, guys! Anyways, this chasing was running around for 40 seconds until that giant rope came out of nowhere and grabbed Patrick. <laughs> Making a reference for one of the episodes of SpongeBob. Patrick! No! Patrick has been tied up and turned into a fry free sea star and everybody began eating Patrick into her pieces as like they're eating Chicken McNuggets. Please don't eat me! I'm just a sea star! No! No! <laughs> Patrick screaming in fear as of his voice actor, Phil Badgerbottom, was actually screaming and panicking. 
SpongeBob and Mindy were scared and surprised that Patrick is dead. I can't believe they ate my best friend! No, I don't have friends now! Come on, SpongeBob. We had to keep going. They turn around with their grin on his face with the blood everywhere, including their eyes pupil shrunk with a chum bucket bucket helmet. Princess Mindy and SpongeBob began chasing, running away from the people of Bikini Bob. The scene chasing goes on for about 40 seconds until something is strange. There's a giant Bigaboo came out of nowhere in front of them. Once the Bigaboo pulled out from the ground, this must be the unknown person look very familiar. And the familiar person is none other than Dennis. Dennis looks very pained and hurt. His whole clothes got ripped, including his pants got ripped, and his sunglasses is broken, along with his cowboy hat is completely damaged. He spoke, but with the voice of Alec Baldwin. Hey there, kid. Did you miss me? Dennis, how did you survive? Long story. After I got hit by the boat, I fell down to the ground back to the ocean and ride way to get back to Bikini Bottom, so I can get revenge on you and your sea star friend, but good thing he's already dead. Now since I'm back in Bikini Bottom, I'm going to kill each of you right now. After the talk for a second, Dennis began chasing Spongebob and Princess Mindy. As soon as they're about to running away, Dennis accidentally stepped on Princess Mindy's tail, mermaid tail, and Spongebob turned around and see Princess Mindy and is about to kill her. Mindy? No! Spongebob, just go without me. Save yourself. After Princess Mindy said her last word, Dennis took out one of the sharp out of his boots and began to kill Princess Mindy. Princess Mindy's eyes pupil shrunk again as she was about to notice that bigger boots was about to crush her face. Right before Dennis' boots was about to make a contact with Princess Mindy's face, the scene cuts to Spongebob looking very surprised and shocked that Princess Mindy is gone. But this is only sad part is that Spongebob is the only survivor in the dangerous Bikini Bottom. This scene chase goes on for 40 seconds until everything is completely destroyed and turn it into a plankton land. Everything is destroyed including his house, Squigger's house, Patrick's house, Sandy's house, Mr. Krabs house, along with Lugu Lagoon, Mrs. Pop's bowling school, along with the Krusty Krab and the Krusty Krab 2 as well. SpongeBob is shocked and depressing that the whole Bikini Bottom is destroyed. Oh well, I guess this is the end of the Bikini Bottom. Goodbye Patrick, goodbye Squidward, goodbye Sandy, goodbye Mrs. Puff, goodbye Gary, goodbye Mr. Krabs, and most of all, goodbye Princess Minnie, and to myself. But he had no other choice but he decided to surround. He's been surrender. Plankton, Dennis, along with the citizens of Bikini Bottom has been controlled, were staring at Spongebob. What have you done? You just destroyed the Bikini Bottom and you kill all my friends, including my pet Gary. You guys are evil. As for Psychopath, I hope you have fun time in the underworld for your actions. You're right, Spongebob. We are so ill. Plankton said, as he was about to kill him, along with a giant bigger boot about to squeeze him in the face. So Dennis decided to squeeze Spongebob's face and his entire body. Ladies and gentlemen, say goodbye to the fry cook employee of the Krusty Krab, for good. No way, don't do this to me. No, I'm just a regular fry cook. No, no, no! After final words of Spongebob said, Dennis began to kill Spongebob. Right before his boots was about to make a contact to Spongebob's face, the screen cut to black. All I could hear is Spongebob is screaming in pain, as if his voice actor, Tom Kenny, is hurting so badly. In about 10 seconds, the scene cuts out with Spongebob blood everywhere. His whole body got squashed by the sponge, his pants was ripping, including his arms is broken to tear it up, and his whole shoes has ripped into pieces. And now, every one of the main characters are completely dead, except Plankton, Karen, Dennis, along with the citizens of Bikini Bottom, has been possessed controlled. 
The scene cuts to the title of the title of the Plankton Land, where Plankton, Karen, and Dennis were standing on the stage while everybody in Bikini Bottom was staring at them, along with Squidward, Sandy, Mrs. Puff, Gary the Snail, and many other characters from the series staring at Plankton. Plankton said to everybody with the words that he likes to become the newest leader of this land. My fellow citizens of Bikini Bottom, should I say Plankton Land, and now the now you know him. We the chum bucket every 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and stop, which means no more crusty crab for good because Mr. Krabs is dead. Not on breath for now. After a speech, all these people begin bow down to Plankton, and Plankton begin laugh evilly as if Doug Lois is laugh evilly. All hail Plankton. Then a scene goes on on top of the outside the ocean with the entire dark night. Then the scene cuts to black with saying, The End. Then the scene faded to black with the title says, Animated by Clanny Brown in 2003 during filming. Clanny Brown! I knew that jerk just made a horrible animations. Then the video ended. I was surprised and shocked knowing that they made a horrible alternate ending of the Spongebob movie. But before I had deleted, I had to record it with my phone and upload it to the media fire and YouTube. Anyways, I deleted the file and so I continued watching on Paramount Plus, so I don't need to worry about it. After a few hours, I checked the video, I have a lot of views, a lot of subscribers, and a lot of comments. Here are a couple of comments to say about this. Oh my god, I can't believe Clenny Brown made the horrifying alternate ending of the Spongebob Squarepants movie. Now that's disturbing. And by the way, you're very good discovering dude. This has got to stop. Clenny Brown needs to be fired for what he did to our beloved Nickelodeon shows. This alternate ending is way scarier than Madagascar alternate ending. Strack alternate ending and chicken run alternate ending. Also, I'm very sorry for your experience. I have no idea what's wrong with this animator. He needs to stop doing that at Nickelodeon Studios. Those blood image make me throw up, especially I have a lot of chills down my spine when I saw the scene that Spongebob, Princess Mindy, and Patrick are dead, including Mr. Krabs. After the comments, however, there is only one comment that got me at attention was Nickelodeon and they are ready to talk about Clanny Brown's backstory. We are very sorry that this alternate ending of the Spongebob Squarepants movie scared you, but listen. I just found out of Clanny Brown's backstory, the reason why he was afraid of sea creatures, is because he thinks that sea creatures are scary. Especially jellyfish and sharks. During his job interview at Nickelodeon, he told us the story that he was having a nightmare about he was drowning into the water, and shark was about to eat him. And when he got up with depressing look, he went to his parents' room to, to tell them of his nightmare story. He decided to sleep with them to make him comfortable. By the time when when he was a teenager, he killed hundreds innocent sea creatures by going fishing, and cooked them with the sushi ingredients. So that's why he made traumatizing by the Spongebob episodes and movies. Again, we apologize for you being scared. So that could explain why he is afraid of sea creatures before he works at Nickelodeon. This is why he snuck into the studio and made a horrible episode all the way back in 2002 called Spongebob Can't Take It, along with lost internship recreations of Spongebob You're Fired and the lost THX The Spongebob Squarepants movie trailer with Adam Kennedy. Obviously, I'm glad he got fired. At least that he's still in jail. But remember everybody, if you guys find any of those these lost trailers or alternate endings that has depressing or scared or even funny scenes, please report it to those viewers. And please, stay away from Clenny Brown's recreations. I hope he deserved to be in jail too. And by the way, this is Brian Barrios, the narrating of the story, signing out.